Welcome. This video will cover some ways to troubleshoot data man connection issues. The following video is divided into three sections related to different areas that could prevent a data man from connecting properly. Hardware integrity, firewall access, and network settings. Hardware integrity. A green LED on a data man indicates that it is sufficiently powered. If using a PoE model, verify that the reader is plugged into a PoE-enabled switch or PoE injector. If the reader is not receiving power from the PoE injector, try using a different injector to isolate the issue to the injector or the camera itself. Try a different network cable just to be certain that the issue is not with the cable. Please note, a data man designed for PoE cannot be wired for 24 volts to a power supply unit. Similarly, a data man model designed for 24 volts cannot be powered by PoE. Please check your purchase order to determine which model you purchased. A sticker may be present on the data man indicating if it is a PoE model. Next, check to see if there is network activity. Check that the network activity LED light on the camera and the LAN port that the camera is plugged into lights or flickers. Click on the Windows Start button and type ncpa.cpl and open the control panel item. If connected directly to the data man reader, the network adapter should indicate unidentified network. If the data man does not power or there's no indication of network activity on neither the data man reader nor the network port the unit is plugged into, the unit may be defective and there's no need to continue troubleshooting a connection issue. Please contact your Cognex reseller or Cognex product services for warranty information and options. Firewall access. If the unit is powered and a network connection has been confirmed, check Windows Firewall next. For the Dataman Setup Tool application to discover and connect to available Dataman on the network, communications over port 1069, both TCP and UDP, inbound and outbound, will need to be open. Outgoing rules are usually not required unless the network is strict and requires explicit rules. Click on the Windows Start button and type RESMON and open Resource Monitor. Go to the Network tab and check the box to the left of the setuptool.exe process. It may be necessary to open the Dataman Setup Tool application or click the Refresh button on the Dataman Setup Tool homepage for the setuptool.exe to appear in the list. Expand the listening ports at the bottom. Look at the firewall status for the setuptool.exe process. The status should say, allowed, not restricted. If not allowed or restricted is displayed, refer to our video on adding firewall restrictions to learn how to set firewall rules. Once firewall access has been addressed, test the Dataman Setup tool by clicking the Refresh button on the home page to see if Dataman readers are detected. Please note, often when connecting a Dataman reader directly to a PC's network port, the Windows OS may configure it as a public network. Even though firewall rules have been created to allow communications to a private network, there may not be rules to allow communications over a public network or the communications are being blocked. Network settings. The network adapter on the PC and the Dataman reader need to be on the same network and subnet mask. This is necessary for the setup tool to discover and establish a connection to the reader to configure the unit. Start by opening the Network Connections control panel by typing ncpa.cpl into the Windows search bar or right-clicking the network icon in the bottom right of the computer's taskbar. Select Open Network and Internet Settings and then select Change Adapter Options. Right-click the Network Adapter and go to Properties. Double-click Internet Protocol version 4. If trying to connect to an out-of-the-box Dataman reader, select Obtain an IP address automatically. If the data man was previously configured with a specific IP address and subnet mask, confirm here that the network settings on the adapter are compatible with those on the data man. Caution: Network adapters are often configured with specific settings that have been set by a network administrator. Check with local IT before changing these settings. Out-of-the-box data man cameras are configured for DHCP. If DHCP is not available, the data man will randomly assign itself an IP address in the 169.254.x.x range with a subnet of 255.255.0.0. For most, when obtained an IP address automatically is selected for the TCP/IP version 4 properties, 
this is adequate for dataman detection and connection. If the dataman still does not appear in the setup tool, try changing the network adapter's IP address to 169.254.100.100 with a subnet of 255.255.0.0 to see if it will open a connection to the camera. Both the camera and PC may need to be power cycled or unplug the network cable and plug it back into the network before a connection can be established. Closing out of and restarting the Dataman Setup tool may be helpful as well. Click the Refresh button in the Setup tool to list the Dataman readers available on the network. The status of a Dataman reader may be listed on the home page of the Setup tool as misconfigured. Check the network settings on the Dataman and network adapter when this occurs. A misconfigured Dataman may prevent the following. Connecting to the camera to configure, saving configuration changes, updating the firmware, and updating network settings. In some remote and VPN networks, as well as connecting to Dataman on different subnets, it may be necessary to manually add the IP addresses of Dataman readers to connect to them. These often are networks that do not allow for device discovery. On the home page of the Dataman Setup tool, go to the Repair and Support section and click on the Add Network Device button to manually enter the IP address of the Dataman reader. To review, Effective dataman connection troubleshooting will involve inspecting hardware integrity, verifying firewall rules, and configuring devices to ensure network access. Thanks for watching.